Stars have been honoured at tonight's BAFTA Awards ceremony in central London. The Iraq war drama The Hurt Locker has scooped six awards, including the top prizes, best film and best director. But there was some British success for our leading actors just before the ceremony began. It was announced also that Prince William will be succeeding Lord Attenborough as president of the Academy. Let's take a look then at some of the night's biggest winners and the coveted best film award was won by the film The Hurt Locker and The Hurt Locker's director Catherine Bigelow also won best director. Collins Fir Colin Firth scooped the leading actor role in Tom Ford's film A Single Man and Carrie Mulligan was the leading actress for her role in An Education. Christoph Waltz won Best Supporting Actor for Inglorious, and Monique won Best Supporting Actress for her role in Precious. And Outstanding British Film was won by Fish Tank, which beat An Education and In the Loop. Our showbiz correspondent Steve Hargrave was speaking to some of the main winners as they arrived at the post-BAFTAs party. So the BAFTAs are over for another year and it was a massive, massive night for a film called The Hurt Locker. The Iraq war drama went on to beat Avatar and picked up six awards in total. Avatar only walked away with two of these special effects awards. The biggest award probably was for the best film which Hurt Locker picked up, but it was also a big night for the fact that Catherine Bigelow won Best Director. It's the first time that a female director has ever won a BAFTA. Also good night for us Brits, let's not forget we won well in the acting awards. Carrie Mulligan picked up Best Actor. Earlier on, she spoke to me just here on the carpet. Mm, oh, it was bizarre, really bizarre, um, terrifying. I just wasn't expecting uh, in the slightest, so um, I had no idea what I was going to say, and I forgot everybody, and I forgot the director, <laughs> which is horrible, so I have to go inside now and find her, but um, it was amazing, amazing. So many people, though, you look out and you're like... The sea of, you know, and I just stared straight out and saw Dustin Hoffman. I was like, Dustin Hoffman's here. I didn't even know. Hold up, hold up that award and show us there. It's a cliche question, but where does that little fella go? My parents' living room. I was actually looking at this a minute ago, thinking it looks exactly like Colin Firth. <laughs> we were doing a Q&A, and I was like, it's Colin Firth right here. They have in bronze. And it was also a big night for Mr. Colin Firth. He's been here before, been nominated many times before. Tonight he finally picked up the Best Actor Award for his role in A Single Man. When I met him here at the, just about to go into the party, well, he seemed like a happy man. It's just a fantastically unfamiliar feeling. It's great. And um, I think the nicest thing about it, actually, is how included the people around me feel. It's like your birthday. You know, it's... Uh, there's a, the old Gore Vidal quote, every time I succeed, well, if a friend of mine succeeds, I die a little. Um, it's, it's actually proved to be quite the opposite in terms of the responses I've been getting. People are just, um, you know, I think that it's almost as if they care about it more than I do. <laughs> um, as these award shows go onwards to the Oscars now, I mean, does this kind of give you a kind of fresh hope that in two weeks' time you can add to that collection? I don't think so. No, and being a part of that thing is a, is a whole other adventure which I, I've hardly dared to contemplate. I mean, the only thing that stops you focusing on something like that is you've got all this along the way. Um, I, it doesn't need to get any better than this. So there we go. It was the Hurt Locker's win over Avatar, but also good news for the Brits. All eyes now on the Oscars in two weeks' time.